All right, so is everyone recording their audio now? I just started. Me... Okay, Charlie, yeah. did you did you get your Christmas gift? Did you send me a gift? I didn't look. Yeah, you gotta. Well, you gotta check your email. Oh yeah, I haven't done I, that yet. I gave you a very special Amazon gift card. Thank you, man. I'll look at that in a minute. Does it have a cool right, message great. too? It has a great message and a great picture. Oh, I'm excited. I thought you would have got us all golfing with friends. No, so you guys are international, so my original plan was just for the ease of everything, give, get a Steam game, and that worked for you, Jackson, <laughs> but then Kaya, oh boy, <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> yeah, that was a little, little, uh, gruesome. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> let's just, let, long story short, we decided that we would each just buy ourselves games and pretend the other one bought it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm buying my own copy of Devil Daggers and going, thanks, Kaya. <laughs> I like that I was going to buy this one cool game for Andrew, but then I ended up buying it for myself, basically, and it looks cool. <laughs> so sorry. Well, yeah, Devil Daggers looks fucking sweet. I just never got around to buying it, but now I have an excuse because you're making me. <laughs> yep. I don't worry, I'll just next month I j I'll do the same I'm planning to do for Charlie, which is just buy some humble indie bundle bullshit for a buck and give you like 10 <laughs> Steam keys. <laughs> and, then, and then when you send it, go, could you pitch in half? <laughs> yeah, half of the one cent I gave them. <laughs> well, I guess we've started. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't, I, I don't want the fact that I'm cheap on air. Now we start it. Welcome to the official episode of the official Kaya podcast. Kaya owes me money. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. You got your refund. Protection money. Oh Holy. my god, Kaya, Kai, are what? you falling into a dolphin lair? What the fuck was that? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what no, the fuck I, that was. Holy lord. I don't know. I, I heard the same. I don't know. Oh, oh god. It's just Skype admin or something. Tuning in. Yeah. He loves the podcast so much he watches it live. <laughs> you just hear, no, please keep going. <laughs> it's nothing. <laughs> this is great. Sorry oh, what that. crimes did you guys commit? <laughs> Alright, so let's let's officially get started. Yeah. Jackson, what's all our right. first topic? <laughs> Jackson is the plant. Alright, alright. All Do right. you use any illegal substances, guys? This question comes from uh not NSA. This comes from P. <laughs> this comes from a guy named P. Lease, and he asks, "What illegal substances do you do?" I wish They're the same questions as last week. Not oh, the exact God. same, but the exact same quality. All right, well that's well, good. You did some... I, okay. I wanted to expound upon the what Minecraft block would we be? I thought that was a real doozy. <laughs> well, luckily I put it in there again. All right, if we're not gonna do their questions, I I have a way to settle this. I wrote my own questions. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's good. Your question is um, good. I, I I took Charlie's advice to heart, and I brought. I thought I'd bring in my own questions. And well, interestingly you... enough, Andrew, random oh. nine thousand and one asks, "What's Andrew's questions?" Really? Uh, well, that's no. What amazing. really? Yeah. All right. Well, let's get started on these questions <clears throat> then. Well, um, I mean, technically, right, so they're answers. You then. can uh, you can call these garbage <laughs> or hate them or not answer. I just figured that they're slightly better than the questions we've been getting and whatever. And I wrote these down while I was bored. Okay, ten questions. The first one. If you could travel back in time and challenge anyone in history to a fist fight, who would it be and do you think you would win? <laughs> well, why would you challenge them if you don't know? Well, what if you want to fight like a gladiator from ancient Rome and see if you could kick your ass? Oh yeah, that's fun. I'd wreck my <laughs> yeah. shit. But, but... <laughs> Let's see if they'll feed me to lions. Yeah, that, that sounds like a hoot. No, I totally fight the shit out of Hitler because he's just regarded as a universal evil, so I'd be a fucking hero. Yeah, one Hitler's way or the other. That's a pretty straightforward answer. That's yeah. exactly what I was going to say, because win or lose, it was at least worth a try. I think I could take him, though, because didn't he want to be like an art dude? I, I, mean, like I don't yeah. know, but he does look like kind of, sort of a limp wrist, you know? Yeah. What if he just, like, what if he rips off his shirt and he's super buff and he's like, I was preparing for this day. <laughs> I knew someone would time travel from the future. The just Tyler Durden it. from Fight Club. I will crush you, yeah. <laughs> It'd be he hard getting him alone, though. Well, what? no, just go to the bunker before he kills himself and be like, one last throwdown before you go. <laughs> before he kills himself. But maybe you'd have to <laughs> rise in his ranks first. <laughs> At the height of his prime before his suicide, Jackson. 
<laughs> so what, we're going with Hitler, the most basic Well, well my ever. answer is Isaac Newton. Because I, <laughs> I feel I could easily beat his ass. <laughs> <laughs> you think it? You, so, f- it's 25-year-old virgin. If I lose, then I get the pleasant surprise of going, dude, Isaac Newton is fucking tough. But if I win, I could be like, yeah, you discovered gravity, but you got your ass whooped. <laughs> so your whole Telling purpose... Your ass. The whole purpose for time travel is just challenging someone you know you could beat just for the sake of beating them. <laughs> Basically, for the that, sexual thrill. You're gonna just turn Newton into the school shooter who got bullied. <laughs> Newton invents <laughs> the gun. Instead of inventing calculus, he's just gonna stab people. Instead of inventing calculus, he invents a gun to shoot his school. Brilliant. <laughs> This'll show him. <laughs> What's your answer, Jackson? Who would you go back and give the business to? I was gonna say my mum, but I don't think we should put that on there. <laughs> that took it to uh, a dark place. Jesus Christ. There's one in the stomach. <laughs> I like that. Take that, me. <laughs> That'll teach you. <laughs> and then, and teach then you the rest the of your life. The rest of your life will be dedicated to you trying to go back in time and beat up that guy who punched your mom. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a Just deep sci-fi it's... plot. <laughs> that's like that a, my answer. Anyway. That's like, like a uh, looper with Bruce Willis. It's, yeah, it's like predestination. You, you caused your own problems. All right, all right. Any anything else on this topic here? Or should I move on? Did Did Kaya say? Uh-huh. Yeah, you yeah, said Hitler. Hitler as well, didn't you? Yeah, Charlie and Kaya went with Hitler. Oh, they're so similar. That's the greatest children's book of all time. Kyra and Charlie meet Hitler. <laughs> Just fight Hitler. A Minecraft story. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm represented by Minecraft blocks. Minecraft all right, blocks. All right, question two. What do you aspire to be conceptually? What is it that when you think of your future self, you get of as an idea? So not what you want to be or what you want to have done, but what kind of person do you think you'd want to be? A Jesus, Andrew. I know, right? We, we're getting into shit. Well, that's, that's quite a different tone of question from which <laughs> famous evil guy. My answer's Hitler. <laughs> hey, I, ne- I never said anything on the quality of the questions. They were just like the ten that came to my head as I randomly thought about them. That's fair. Fuck, you know, different than so the YouTube know, you, commenters then. Like, it's like, do you want to be, like, a leader of people? Do you want to be, like, your own thing? Do you want people to think that you're eccentric or, like, cool? Someone to look up to? No, like, I, no I want people to think I'm lame. <laughs> Specifically. <laughs> Please. I'm a, I'm a lone wolf, baby. <laughs> well, alright, Jackson, elaborate. Why are you a friendless loser? <laughs> I don't know. Why do I hang out with three internet friends all the time? <laughs> <laughs> no one else will hang out with me in real well, life. To be fair, you live in Australia. There aren't really it. concepts of friends there. The closest friend is 20 kilometers away. Oh, God. That's like 80 American miles. <laughs> Freedom units. <laughs> <coughs> Freedom units. Yeah. Charlie, give me, give, me, give me a simple answer to this one. I know you got something. Not really. I, I don't fucking know. You're the, you're the man the whose ultimate goal was to end corruption, which I don't even <laughs> think you know what that meant. You have to have I something. Kai corrupted Charlie, and now he wants to ruin the world for Don Quixote. <laughs> that would be saving it. That'd be salvation. So Charlie wants to be a superhero. Got it. Yeah. All right, let's move on. That one sucked. No. It's fine. No, what about you, Andrew? You Answer your own question. I want to be that weird guy where, like, I have that following of Achieved. people who... All right. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving on. What's something that you want to do that no one else you know wants to do? Some, some activity or some <laughs> goal you have that no one's on board with. I really want to. I actually have an answer to that one since. Uh, see, I told you th- these questions have potential. Come on, I mean, it just takes like forty <coughs> seconds of silence to think of something. Well, that's that's, that's fine. We have well, that's really our fault. Yeah. What, what is right, the question? Yeah, that's editing. All right. The question is: What is something that you currently want to do that no one else you know of or that you like currently are aware of wants to do it as well? So, an idea you have that you don't know if anyone would be on board with it. 
Or uh, you can't think of anyone who'd want to do it as well. I have a real answer to that one. I've always wanted to go to a pretty shitty strip club on a really slow day, like a Sunday morning. Just to kind of go there and experience what that would be like. But I know nobody that would be about doing that. Fat strippers. Right after church, huh? Yeah, like right after church. <laughs> I want to see Winkleberry and the boys go there for their afternoon tits. <laughs> we praise the Lord now. We praise in the boobs. Woo! I mean, I'd do it. I'd, I'd feel incredibly awkward and ask to leave, but I'd go. <laughs> <laughs> Great. That's what I want. Jackson, what about you? What was the question? What is something that you want to do or achieve that you don't know of anyone else who'd want to do it or try it? I mean, to tie it into the previous questions, probably give my mom an abortion. <laughs> <laughs> well, are you going to get her pregnant first? Or how yeah, does this like, work? I'm curious. What would that solve? <laughs> This is a lot of things, Charlie. A lot of things. This doesn't come Jesus. with time. Tra- this question this doesn't come with lesson. time travel. Jesus Christ. Oh, man. Kai is going. I can hear his internet Kai fading. Kai is fading into the mega zone. <laughs> he, someone's aborted him. <laughs> He's got to go back in time and thing. stop this. <laughs> uh, well. Kai, before you are sent to the fourth dimension, what's your answer? I have no idea. I got nothing. <laughs> Alright, great. Moving on. Wait, so, so Kai, yeah. before you start, Kai, are you, are you on your phone now? Yeah, uh, yeah. So I mean, we're no, no, I use... am. No, no, I'm using my phone's uh, inter- uh, the hotspot thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I am recording myself, yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. But... Alright, moving on. Question four. <laughs> That, that was the question, Charlie, that was, you first. That was for the sake of the recording, because I'm pretty sh- I thought for a fact I put the wrong microphone, so I didn't think it captured anything, but it turns out it did. Oh my god. Actually, I should check that real quick, too. Yeah, we're good. Okay. <laughs> Bunch did of anyone images. Did anyone hear me say penis? No? No. Then I'm using the right mic. Okay, uh, question four. When was the last time you got physically hurt or almost died? Uh, physically hurt I have an answer to it was when you were here Andrew and I got blackout drunk and I was you'd already oh left. yeah this is a good story tell this story I remember you'd, this you'd already left the bar and I was still busting it wide open on the dance floor and I took a, a wrong move on my Spongebob shuffle and I just ate shit <laughs> I just slammed my head on the, the dance floor but I popped myself back up and was fine but that was the last time I got physically hurt that was a fun night, though. <clears throat> that was a great night. I don't remember. Is that, is that the night Andrew projectile vomited black? Goo no, no, that was the, before the night when I cast darkness on the entire dance floor was like months before that. Yeah. Oh, you did it on the dance floor, you monster! Oh, I was in the middle of the club when it happened. <laughs> that was a really rough night for Andrew. That it was um, Andrew, myself, and another friend of mine named Slayton, and we were just pounding shots. And Andrew wasn't a real big drinker at the time, but he wanted oh, to yeah. keep up to seem cool. <laughs> yep, very true. No, so, the, I remember my exact thought process when it all spiraled down. We went to the bar, and Slayton was like, Charlie, I'm going to buy you some shots. Do you like Fireball? And he was like, yeah, and I was just going along with anything. So I had a full drink, and I chugged it, because I was like, I'm going to do shots. i got to get rid of this. So then we did, each did a shot, and I looked at my drink, and I went, fuck, my drink's empty. I better refill this. So then I got a refill while you guys were ordering more shots. And then you ordered more shots, and I went, shit, my drink's full, I better chug this so I can do these shots. And that happened like three times, and, and that's when things really spiraled downward. <laughs> Projectile vomited, and it literally looked like tar. It was pure black sludge. <laughs> it was so, I had fun. At no point did I regret it, I was having a great time the entire night. Yeah, that was a fun. alcohol for you. I, I was mad I had to go home. That was... <laughs> They kicked you out. Yeah, they no, kicked... Well... Uh, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, they did. <laughs> Get out of here, Satan. But, I mean, thankfully, they don't give a shit, because, Charlie, we went back, like, what, a couple months ago? Yeah. So, I'm not on some, like, blacklist or anything. <laughs> blacklist. Black vomit list. <laughs> if it's clear, you're in, but if it's black, get out. Uh, <clears throat> so, I, I guess that answers mine for when I... The last time I almost died... Yeah, that was almost alcohol poisoning. Alcohol that, poisoning, yeah. Pretty much, yeah. It was... I mean, I had fun. I didn't regret Did it. Did you just... Uh, so you you didn't drink much before that? 
No, so what happened was, um, it was kind of that <clears throat> tipping point where I was like, all right, fuck it, let's go hard in the paint. Because before that, yeah. I only, like, really just socially. And yeah. I was at Charlie's for a week, and it was, we're just going to go balls out every night, ballistic, whatever. And we were, and we were having fun, and it was going great, but that was the night where it was like, I didn't know my limits, and things just got way out of hand for me. Hmm. I'm, I'm a lot you, better at it now. Yeah, you've done it a lot more now, Charlie, because Charlie goes out every night. Well, that well that too, yeah, but it, also in general, and also I'm a lot more conscious of my alcohol habits. <laughs> <laughs> to not to not literally almost kill myself. <laughs> any uh any other illegal substances? I mean, smoke weed every day. That's all there is to it. Wait, God, is alcohol illegal in Turkey? No. Eh. Well, they eh, kind of <laughs> not really, but you can't. Buy everything's it after, in like, this weird gray area. Or something. I'm yeah. so sorry. Yeah, like Pretty everything's much. in it. Every beverage is in a gray area. Apple juice, underground market, and shit. <laughs> Hey, you want that cranberry, huh? Knock twice. <laughs> oh, God. 20 under. Oh, that remi- Kaya, that reminds me of... Um, oh, I rated. Kaya and I were reading Turkish news headlines, and one of them was, like, the Popsicle Stick Gang, which was, like, this yeah. nefarious group of criminals who would make counterfeit Popsicle Sticks. Oh, and my they, God. They, like, busted a whole ring, and we're so proud of it. <laughs> and gave them Medal of Honors. Oh, wow. Kaya, when was the last time you got hurt or di- or almost died? <laughs> I don't even remember. <laughs> almost like, Well, died. I mean, living in Turkey, this is daily. <laughs> <laughs> There's just so many. I don't know. Maybe almost died situation. Maybe when I was really much younger. Maybe like 10 years younger. I was... Well, I don't know how much younger, but back then we still had CD players. You guys remember those portable CD players? <laughs> the fuck's a CD? I, the only CDs I owned at the time were Nelly and uh, Cisco. Okay, well, I had uh, Slipknot, so that's what a loser oh God, I was. He was so much cooler. Yeah, so much cooler. <laughs> his his, Cisc- his uh, Slipknot beats my thong song any day. <laughs> As I, wanted, I was one of those, and I was just crossing the street, and I was really looking before I crossed, and some guy just yanked me back, uh, and I just looked at him like, what the fuck? And then I just felt a strong wind in front of me, and turns out he just saved me from a bus. Oh, he shit. didn't even oh. say anything. He just fucking yanked <laughs> me back and kept walking. So that was cool of him. <laughs> Thank you, guardian angel. I don't know, that was it. The, the guy was just crossing the road himself, and when he got to me, I guess he noticed I wasn't paying any attention, so he just yanked me back, and then kept walking without even tell, saying anything to me, or even looking at me, I guess. It was just some piece of shit that he just saved. <laughs> he probably did it by accident. He was probably trying to steal your CD player, but accidentally grabbed you. <laughs> he looked at his hands and he saw Kai and he's like, you're not CDs. <sighs> I mean, I am a Turkey. Maybe he was just trying to kidnap me. And, and then he looked sh- at my face and then, uh, this guy's unprostitutable. <laughs> so then he shot his web and swung away. <laughs> yeah. What would the Turkish Spider-Man look like? Oh, you haven't seen the movie? <laughs> oh, this well, poor what? guy. Isn't, the isn't that Italian Garfield? Spider-Man? What? Isn't there an Italian Spider-Man who's like that? Or yeah, the same thing? and a Turkish and one. Pretty sure. Yeah. That... What is a... it with knockoff Spider-Man? Dude, the Turkish one is hardcore. Kai and I watched some of it. He's like snapping isn't people the... in half. <laughs> Did we watch That's that amazing. one? Isn't that one the Turkish... Uh... Wasn't he like a hybrid between Spider-Man and Captain America? Uh, like, like he one? was. Yeah, I, th- I feel like yeah. they gave him a Spider-Man suit, but he he had Captain America's shield for some fucking reason. He did, and he was fighting just like some low-level hooligans that were a popsicle <laughs> stick gang. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I've almost come into contact with death. Yeah, I've I've never even broken a bone. I that said time, that the that time traveler tried to punch you in your mom's gut. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say, Charlie? I was going. I forgot. I don't know. <laughs> All right, Andrew. Next question. All right, next question. Let's see. Um, <clears throat> what is a game or movie that you absolutely love that nobody gives a shit about? Abe's Odyssey. Oddworld. That's a good choice. I love Abe's Odyssey. That's what oh. every, Pick another. Everyone likes Abe's Odyssey. That's like a Yeah, it's like a game that has a lot of revere. Yeah, no. 
I mean, I can I can I, get it being kind of underground, but I'm talking like those yeah, I like never hear about it. backwoods CDs that you're pretty sure no one else has even played or seen. Like that type of shit, where you're Ugh. confident if you bring it up, no one's even going to know what it is. All right, Startopia. Anyone? St- no. Nice. Never heard of All it. All right, that one. Well, what is it? Talk about it. It's like it's like you run this space station and you like uh, you build buildings on the space station and invite aliens to hang out there. You got to get residents. I don't know. I didn't play it. You you didn't play it. <laughs> Excuse me. I just I saw a few screenshots. Oh fuck! <clears throat> well, that'll do it. No, no, no. I, I did. I did. Yeah. Charlie, what I about did play. you? It was pretty good. All right. That's so. Wait, then is it like the Sims in space, or is it like? Is it a sim? Kind of. It's it like a, a. It's a weird combination between like the Sims and like kind of like a base building game, like, um, maybe kind of like Age of Empires, kind of. Not, so is it an RTS no, then, or? It's not RTS, but it's got the similar base building as far as I can remember. What was the name? Mm-hmm. Startopia, I think. No, it's <laughs> so, it. yeah, it's so it's so unknown that even their one fan doesn't know the name probably. <laughs> it's on Steam. Oh. You got me that for Christmas, Andrew. Uh, 2001 <laughs> is when it came out. Sounds about right. Oh yeah, I mean, if it let me, it's seven dollars, Jackson. Do you want no, it? I'm jo- no, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> I, I'll fucking get it for you. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's all Threaten right. him with a I've gift. Already got, I've already got ten copies. Oh, I can't. Unless you're a turkey. Yeah, fuck. It. Don't ever try to gift with Jackson or with Kaya because they've outlawed gifts in Turkey. Apparently. <laughs> What about you, Charlie? You probably have, like, hundreds of these. Yeah. For games or movies? Either or. Well, for movies, I have one that you can definitely attest to, which was Circle. Dude, yeah! Yeah. (laughs) I I didn't know it registered with you that hard. Yeah, it was a great movie. That was going to be mine, actually, for movie. Because Circle Circle is one of my favorite movies ever made. It's, uh... Charlie, do you want to talk about it? I mean, you've seen it six times. I think you're more qualified to talk about it. Circle is the movie I watched at Charlie's house while he had to go... I think he had to pick up a friend from an airport. Yeah, I think um, so. I yeah, he had to go out for a drive, so I went on his, on Netflix, and I watched Circle, and I loved it so much, <clears throat> I rewatched it with him when he got back. Then I showed it to my friend two days later. Then I watched it with my dad. <laughs> then I showed it to another friend a month later, and every single time, I've loved it. Um, Circle is a movie about... 25 people I think it's 20 it's either 25 or 50 they wake up in a room that's pitch black and they're all standing in a circle oh, and Jesus the whole Christ, point I've seen that you like that I oh like no this. but this one this one's good though it's not it's not any of that schlocky like hammy dumb stuff this one's actually well made and I liked it any of that um but, but the whole like point two is versions of this well, no. The whole, are you this sure? Is the American version. Are you, are you the, sure? Are you talking about the, the movie, movie where they're like kidnapped by aliens and they have to kill one another one by one? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I guess that's a way to put it. Yeah, that's about it. That's that sums yeah. it up. Is it extraterrestrial? You didn't like it? Or? No. Well, that, that was like an indie movie with five dollar of a budget. <laughs> Well, see, I, I love that, though. Yeah, I love... Andrew's crying. <laughs> no! <laughs> yeah. Last week, the shit on his Mad Max fan. Kaya, did you not this. see that I directed that movie? Come on. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Go on. No, it's... I don't know. I, I have a soft spot for, like, movies that I think I could make myself. Because... <laughs> <laughs> Mad Max. <laughs> and that sounds, like, that sounds like an insult, but it's, it's just my point. way of saying, like, it's it's gotta have heart. Because if you don't have the money or the acting prowess, you've gotta have, like, that... That chutzpah in it. You got to have that actual effort, and I think yeah, this movie yeah, had you. effort in it. I think that's yeah. half of it. You've also got to have quality. It's exactly like you have to make up for the for the lack of production and for budget. With... It's just amazing how you fooled all those people into watching it with you when it's just literally a movie about people just standing around and killing one another, and not even the killing. <laughs> the, the killing isn't even cool. You know, they don't get shot or like maimed. They just fall I'm... over. I'm sorry it's not realistic like Turkey, Kaya. <laughs> Every week, thought... Kaya has to report to the service center and get in a circle and decide who dies. <laughs> not enough rations. Oh, Toko thought... didn't get the bread today. He's gotta go. 
I thought it was the movie when you started talking about uh, like two hundred people getting ab- abducted or whatever. I thought it was the movie where they had uh, they yeah, have no, to keep running. So you 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 thought on a way bigger scale than the movie. It's just twenty yeah. people, like maybe ten actually. Oh. I mean, well, sh- any certain yeah. number of people. There's there's the movie where they have to keep running, and as soon as they stop running, they die. They explode. sounds like what Speed. Movie? Yeah, Speed was cool though. Speed was a cool movie. I like Speed. Yeah. But I don't. I don't know. I mean, Charlie, I'm. I'm glad you brought that one up because yeah, I like that yeah. movie. I thought it was yeah, good. Yeah. See, I think it's a bit of an acquired taste. Like if you go into it, like oh uh, yeah, the acquired taste of Charlie, the one. I wish you didn't corrupted taste here. Damn it! I wish you didn't say the word taste. Fuck. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. God don't get it, me started. Right. Just move on. <laughs> well, I mean, you might want to answer the question, Kaya. You still haven't given us. Okay. Yours. Uh, Pizza Connection 2, which is this really old game that I got in Germany, year, like 15 years ago, out of a cereal box, I think. I, and I all like you do, it, oh, you know that game? Yeah. It's really cool. All really? you do is you open a pizza shop, and then you somehow you hire the mob and shit, and try to destroy all the other pizza shops in the neighborhood. You like unleash cockroaches and shit in their pizzerias. Maybe you call the I don't know just right-wing idiots on it and say there's some pedophilia going on some pizza gate stuff you fucking it's probably European dlc scumbag. now it's fast food tycoon 2 in america i know yeah it has a different name but i don't think they made a third one unfortunately uh-huh. it was a great game well fuck all right moving on i guess so we all agree that pizza tycoon 2 is the best game in the world yeah all right number <laughs> six if you had the ability to fuck any fictional character right now, who would it be? Harry Armistice. <laughs> who? Yeah, exactly. But that's a that's a Westworld thing. Oh, I don't know Westworld. I'm I surprised seen you went for her though. <coughs> what? Oh, actually, no. I'm not surprised that you chose her. Why not? Why are you surprised? And then why were you not? Uh, she's an acquired taste. <laughs> yeah, I like the <laughs> uh, I like the bloodied face. Type of woman. I mean, she looks good naked, so probably all that matters. Jackson, you not said all, Harry but Potter. it's a major plus point. I said Harry Potter just to get my word in because I knew I was going to get talked over. <laughs> well, oh, that was well maybe if you waited patiently until it was your turn. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Shh, don't, don't, don't. But I you don't want to get time to travel punched by it, Jackson here. <laughs> yeah, watch out. Jackson will edit you out of the podcast if you're not careful. <laughs> I hold all the power here. It's true. What's your actual uh, pick, see. Jackson? Um, I'm trying to think. Probably, probably old Clementine, Kyle. If we're going with Westworld uh, references, God I guess. Damn. All right, that's not too shabby. No, it's all right. Yeah. She doesn't kill anyone Andrew? or do anything, but fine. So, <laughs> that's what makes them attractive to you? Yeah. Their kill count? Their body <laughs> count? <laughs> I, I mean, I can, I can see where Kai is coming from. I get what Power attracts about. him. He's uh, very it, it, it really does. I like that kink.com kind of shit. I like that. I'm all about it. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Charlie? Um... I guess Helen of Troy. Oh, fuck, that's a good one. Isn't she a real character? Real person? Well, she was I mean, in history, yeah. Yeah, as long as you... The, I said fictional character. So she's she's Helen also, of Troy in a movie. Fictional character. Now, if that's you want to change point. your vote to fist-fighting Helen of Troy, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Beats up women. <laughs> Dude, Joan of Arc would be a good person to challenge to a fist fight. Mother Theresa, no, huh? That would not end well. Come on, Ch- Charlie. I mean, I mean, uh, like straight fictional. Uh, oh, they've got to be what's straight. Your, what's your answer? And then I'll keep thinking while you answer. Does Judy Hoffs from Zootopia count? Oh my! God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not bad if you're a furry. No, I, I, I actually haven't thought about this one. I just thought it was a good question. Uh, who do I? Who am I digging right now? Let's see. I'd probably go with uh. Uh, oh, what's her name? What's the main woman from Mad Max? Oh, Charlize Furiosa. Theron. Fuck yeah, not, I do Not her, her too. what's her character? Furiosa. Fur- Furiosa, Furiosa, yeah. Yeah, when Hell I saw yeah. that movie, I was like, oh, I need to marry this woman. Too. She's oh, so fucking fuck, great. Yeah. Furiosa, for sure, is my current pick. 
Oh man, that's a solid pick. See, this is why I like Andrew. Thanks, Kai. I appreciate. <laughs> we don't. It. Even, we can just 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 skip Charlie because he's just gonna say. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, he. Yeah, he's yeah. not gonna say Furiosa. Let's skip him. Yeah, that's fine. Him. Go to the next question. <laughs> All right, next question. I got three more questions. Four more. I lied. Okay, number seven. What irrational fear did you have of when you? Or yeah, what fear did you have when you were a child or kid? I used to, when I would go into a pool, I always never wanted to be the last one out because I thought there was a shark that would get me. I thought the last person out of the pool would get, get killed that, by a though. shark. Yeah, water scares me. It still scares me. It's the, my childhood fear and my adulthood fear is murky waters, literally. Just dark water. Honestly, what, what that's, about a, deep that's ocean? a rational fear to have. Yeah. yeah. I mean, apart from the... It's not really rational to fear a closed-in swimming pool. Mm-hmm. That's fair. Also, another one from when I was a kid was uh, Humphrey Bogart. That's what I was going to... That's why I asked this question. I wanted you to talk about Humphrey Bogart. Oh, yeah. When I was a little kid, my parents had this fucking six foot five wax figure of the old actor Humphrey Bogart in the house. And it was the most terrifying prop I'd ever seen in my life. I used to have so many nightmares about Humphrey coming to life and talking to me and killing me and my family. <laughs> and then if I used to stay up late when I was a kid too and when I would see him up at, late at night I'd storm into my parents room I wouldn't wake them up but I'd just run in there just to know I was safe that thing was terrifying absolutely what terrifying was fucking? Charlie, it wasn't even a the, mannequin uh... it was just well, if Charlie's it, if... uncle <laughs> <Some> pretending <laughs> yeah. like, standing hey, still son. during the day and then he just molested Charlie hey son I look like Humphrey Bogart ain't that some shit <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Charlie, can I can I branch off of this and tell the home theater story? I mean, that's not like a really good story though. That's just I think Humphrey Bogart. It's just tales of Humphrey Bogart's well, terror. Well, yeah, but just I tell think it. it's interesting. So Charlie and I, we I were hanging out time. at his uh, his old parents' house, and they state? used to have, yeah, they, I mean, kinda. They uh they used to have a home theater, which was like literally like a movie theater, really dark and oh, we were just like, talking about that, Charlie. I want like one. movie theater doors and whatever, and. The guy who was your ticket taker right outside the doors was good old Humphrey Bogart. And uh, we were hanging out in there playing Majora's Mask. And we were just like trying to beat it and alternating who played and just getting through it. And at one point I got up to piss and I came back and I was like, alright, I have an idea. I'm gonna, I'm gonna prank Charlie. And I tried to slide Humphrey Bogart so he was looking right in the window at us. <laughs> And then just walk in like nothing happened. But Charlie opened the door and he like caught me doing it. And I was like, ah, oh, fuck, you got me, whatever. So then we, we sat back down to play Majora's <clears throat> Mask. And like 15 minutes later, we heard this loud fucking thump coming right from where Humphrey Bogart was. And we both decided just to never do anything again. And we left and turned the game off and didn't even go back in there the rest of the night. I'm surprised that didn't work. Charlie is so easy to prank. I think he got mad that I, like, disturbed his resting site. <laughs> <laughs> Who is Humphrey Bogart? What's what's he look like? I've never heard of... L he looks kind of like Humphrey Bogart. Okay. Thank you for answering my question. You never heard of Humphrey Bogart? Really? He's Casablanca, yeah, I, mean, I think. I never heard of him either until my dad really? brought him home and created this nightmare for me. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Charlie, rem uh, remember that one time I pranked you and you, you thought there was a, a, a <laughs> dog show enthusiast out to kill you and take your dogs? Yeah, that was a really good one. Kaya, like, this was... I made a video on, like, dog shows, and they were, yeah. like, feeling their nuts, and Kaya sent me, like, a message from, like, this anonymous channel, like, berating me and saying, like, my name and where I live, and then he was, like, saying if I don't apologize for criticizing grabbing up dogs' nuts, he was coming. Oh and then he, God. and then apparently to fondle your dog's nuts. And then apparently Kaya did his research. He's like, they're feeling for fake dog nuts. They're called nudicles. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, this guy knows his shit. He's really coming. This guy means business. This was back when Charlie didn't even announce his name. Like no one knew. So he looked authentic, like an authentic threat. <laughs> Jesus Christ! It was terrifying. Jackson, what about you? Uh, what was the question? What's an irrational fear you had as a kid? Um, let's see. I mean, I've only ever really... Oh, wait, I, I, I know. There was uh, once when I was like <clears throat> maybe eight years old, which is pretty old for my standards for this fear, um, my parents put a 
clown clock in my in my bedroom, and this was the scariest fucking looking clown clock I've ever seen. I didn't have a fear of clowns or anything, but I had a fear of clocks, you see. And this clock was fucking, <laughs> fucking scary. It would like light up in the middle of the night, but the lights would shine up into its eyes, so it looked extra <laughs> scary. Jesus fucking God. And it was just staring at me Is this why you hate your mom? Asleep. Yeah, this is why I want to go back in time to punch my mom in the stomach. Time, it clock, it all makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> no, but this was honestly the scariest looking clock. And I, 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 I was more scared of saying anything to my parents about it because I thought that would somehow make the situation worse. <laughs> I'd hear so you. I had to put up, I had to put up with this get clock the hose for like again. a year. <laughs> you didn't get you used to it at all? No, it was fucked. <laughs> probably why I can't sleep much anymore. <laughs> Just see it into my brain. <laughs> it was honestly the worst clock. It wasn't even a fashionable clock. I don't know where they were coming from. It looked like something you'd find in a clown sex dungeon. I don't know. <laughs> of course, the old clown it. sex dungeon. <laughs> I mean, it sure it exists. Your, par probably. your parents stop by for their monthly visit. This will be perfect for Jackson. <laughs> Just when we needed. It keeps time and keeps it fresh. Does it come even more terrifying? <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, it was fucked. It was pretty, uh... Jeez. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, that was my ahead. irrational fear. When I was a kid, I was, uh... Like, ultimately, nothing even came close to it. I was afraid of Chucky. And, yeah! Uh, oh my god, I, I, I could not even watch Comedy Central at night because they would play <laughs> advertisements for the movies, so I would like watch it and as soon as the commercial came on I'd switch to Cartoon Network. Um, it got so fucking bad I just couldn't sleep at night because I was afraid he would just come into my room and kill me. I would be up till like 3am every night and have to fall asleep because I just could not go to sleep. Um, it Oh my god, it petrified me horrifically and it's because when i was like five i watched one of the movies because they just had it on at my friend's house and uh i think the culmination of it was it, it wasn't even that long ago uh they had like a haunted house based off child's play somewhere and my friends were like oh we're gonna go it's gonna be so fun and whatever and i didn't go to that whole shindig thing because i was like oh, i don't want to see chucky it's gonna scare me and uh, that's when I finally went, fuck, I gotta get over this. And I, like, actually manned up and stopped caring. But back then, for the longest time, I couldn't even look at it or, like, dolls in general. Because it would just scare the fucking shit out of me. That's valid, though. Like, yeah. Chucky yeah. was a really There was a prank cool that thing. happened at my high school when uh, one of the kids... <laughs> Your high school? Locker. Jesus. Oh, yeah. No, How long did this persist? Dude, until like, <laughs> like, probably until I was like a junior in high school, there was some level of fear there. Till about like two it, weeks ago when he came over it. Yeah. <laughs> it's time I nah, get, it was, get past this. It was real bad. Um, there, when I was like a freshman, one of my friends on Halloween around then, as a prank, someone put a Chucky <clears throat> doll in his locker. And like, even when he was like showing it off and laughing at it, I couldn't even look at it. I was like, oh, that's real funny. Get it out of here. Go, go away. <laughs> What you thought even funny. Oh my god! I just I hated how he looked. He was so freaky, and it just oh uh, it, it something primordial in me. I was like a caveman. I wanted to burn it with fire and <laughs> run away. It, but no, for a very very long time, it was it was irrational fear. It stuck just, with me for the longest time. The old... I imagine I imagine Andrew being that weird kid at school who's standing in the background, just runs up and grabs a doll, lights it on fire, and then throws it against the just, wall. Finally, it culminates to me just going berserk in the middle of class and screaming and throwing it off the, out the window. <laughs> then I act like nothing happened and sit down. Yeah, uh, it's yeah, into the counselor. That was, that was not even when I was a kid. That, that stuck with me for a while. Uh, we're going to move on so I don't seem like a pussy. Let me get my questions. Okay, <laughs> number eight. If you were a... Alright, so this one, this one has, is kind of shitty, but then I think I make up for it. If you were a professional wrestler, what would your name be, and what would your signature move be? Hmm. I, I have that question written down as well. Oh, really? Yeah, someone asked oh. that as well. Huh. Oh, one of you is a copycat. Uh-oh. No, I, I mean, I didn't Google best questions to ask a podcast. <laughs> yeah, that was last episode. Or two episodes ago. <laughs> yeah, it was, was the actually. first episode. It was the... <laughs> But biblical, biblical questions. questions. Yeah, I don't know anything about wrestling, so I'm gonna sit this one out. The Turkminator. 
just really dumb. <laughs> well, you, well, Kyle, wouldn't you just be the Iron Sheik? <laughs> hmm. Nah, it's, I don't know. Not impressed. Come on, like, what what persona would you have that's like super fucking stupid? And I you mean, gotta make I, up a me. move that's based off your persona. I can I can go all day with wrestling shit. I think about that all the time. It, me too. That's why I asked. Go yeah. for it. All right. I mean, the one I'd probably do if I ever did get into professional wrestling would be the moisturizer. And mm-hmm. I'd just be like this really sweaty guy and like, I'd cover myself in oil like that Street Fighter character. Uh, and, Hakan? Hakan. Yeah. Who is it, actually Turkish. Yeah. Yeah, Kai's got something. <laughs> you could be his tag team partner. Just You could be that little Weasley dude who follows him around and applies oil to him. <laughs> Except it's Michael Fussbender. Then, then you got a deal. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie, please continue. I don't, I don't know for signature move, but I just think the moisturizer would be the personality I'd take on. This, this weekend at the SummerSlam, it's about to get real wet in the ring, baby. <laughs> I think I'd want to go like just over the top personality type guy, where I'd want to be like an '80s hair metal rock star dude, and name myself Ace Love Rocket. And just, like, my outfit would be, like, dumb leather and big hair and headbands and fingerless gloves. And just, like, base my persona off of, like, 80s Guns N' Roses and Metallica shit. And I think my signature move would be, like, shredding, where I'd just pull out an electric guitar and break it over someone's head. I think, I think that was that wrestler we watched. It was, like, smooth sailing, savant <laughs> Bradley. Like, his signature move was an erection, I think. I think that was pretty cool. <laughs> Kai, I was actually going to say that. You beat me to it, and it was smooth sailing Ashley Simpson. Er, not Simpson. Uh, Ashley um, Remington. Simpson. Ashley Remington. What yeah, is that? Yeah. What Elaborate. What is that? Uh, we watched one, uh, some wrestling show, and they, they had this wrestler called Smooth Sailing Ashley whatever, and just in the middle of it, he started sprouting a little chubby. <laughs> and he had to, like, awkwardly sit down against the ropes and shit to try and hide it, but he couldn't. Oh my it was God. just weird. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> that was amazing. He won the fight too, naturally. Well, his testosterone was off the charts. Yeah. <laughs> what do you guys think of uh, luchadors and like the Mexican mass wrestling? Oh, parts? I love that. I love that shit too. My favorite's when they get the big guys against the little guys, and the little guys literally do like thirty spins around their yeah. head. Oh, and they just never stop, and they do all this dumb flip shit because the big guy's literally just tossing around like a bag of potatoes. Yeah, you could call it the Black Widow now. I think the Avengers really stole that. Yeah, doesn't she hurricane on someone at some point? Yep. Yeah, she does it all the fucking That's... time. Anytime she fights someone, she just puts her legs around his face and then just does a tornado or something around him and just kicks their asses. That's probably Man, my what second. A, what a way to go. It's like my second favorite wrestling move, because it's like, how am I going to take this guy down? I know, I'll fucking jump on their shoulders, and using I mean, my beefy legs, I'll flip them around. I do agree, Jackson, though, I, I would not mind dying like that. If I was an old man, I'd, I'd have to choose. That'd be it. <laughs> I'd like to get hurricane around by Scarlett Johansson. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> Any of the women I'm into, that'd be fine. Like, if, if we're going to have euthanasia, then yeah. Skip the morphine. She starts a flapping in your face. There's a bunch of old men in line, they have to take a number. Just beat me, just beat me is all I'm saying. <laughs> have you ever seen uh, Pretty Women? about the power thing. Kaya, have you ever watched The Man Show? The you Man that show? show? It was a comedy show with Jimmy it Kimmel fu- and oh, yeah. Adam Carolla. At some point, they had a yeah. skit called Die Like a Man, where they started a euthanasia clinic where they'd kill you in really awesome ways. And oh, one of them cool. is they'd like give you a threesome with porn stars until you had a heart attack. One of them was, like, they put you in the ring with a professional boxer. (laughs) I I, kind of wish that, like, that was a real thing. I'd absolutely do that. So do I. (laughs) I mean, it doesn't have to be, like, a a televised sport. You can just organize it yourself. No, it does. What, the sport of Scarlett Johansson killing old men? That's a good point. Yeah, she she probably wouldn't do it just out of the goodness of her heart. I pre-ordered tickets right now. (laughs) (laughs) This summer slam, Scarlett Johansson and Gerald Albright. (laughs) <laughs> and, and Morgan Stanley's get in the that ring so cool. in a geriatrics match Let's fucking beat you with a cattle prod I'll just sneak in, in between all the fucking octogenarians just so she could beat me I don't even have to be old it's fine 
and a 22 year old man at the top of his prime slick. Let, let's let's get this let's get this trending. Let Scarlett Johansson beat Kaya. The hashtag. Uh, sure. Well, wait. We gotta we gotta shorten it so it's catchy. Scarlett um, Johansson versus Orson. <laughs> Yeah, MMA fight. And her, I okay, Scarlett it. Johansson, her oh, no, she's beating me. That's long. <laughs> her, her Let's do that. Her Akayarana. Her Akayarana. And how, how are we getting her attention? Like, the fucking Make a Wish we'll Foundation. Tweet, we'll tweet at her. <laughs> I want to die at her hands. I don't have long to live. Please let him beat me. I'm terminally depressed. <laughs> It's either this or I hang myself. Please, please, <laughs> Avengers, Come on, do me all a of solid. you. <laughs> I'd also take the uh, chick who plays Armistice, so but she has Kai, to be in full makeup. Did you come up with a wrestling thing, or should we move <laughs> on? Character. Oh God, you were satelliting. No, you out. can move on. This is no. I'm just fantasizing my right, kinks right. now. You can move on. Good lord, oh my dude. Oh, like oh my! The Turkey's internet is shutting down. Cracking some pepper over that mic. <laughs> all right, all right. Next question. What's the lat? What's a cool? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh so hard. It's such a goofy thing to say. <laughs> say what? Next question. What's a really cool? Dr- what's a really cool dream you've had? Oh, I have the coolest dreams. Does anyone want to go first, though? Uh, I can't remember. I had this one dream where Charlie's mom, for some reason, sold me out to ISIS, but... <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, Andrew. Are you sure that was a dream? Are you sure that wasn't last week? <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was a dream. Yeah. We'll told the future. <laughs> That's a good dream. That's amazing. I like how you. I like how specifically Charlie's that, mom. Yeah, I like how it was my mom. Did she come up to you and go, Kaya? Do you want to go to no. ISIS? No, in my dream, like it, this was like almost two years ago or something. That for some reason I was like at Charlie's house, I think, but it was just this cartoon <laughs> town. I don't know because I don't know what the fuck his house even looks like, and he wasn't there. And I see his dad, and he just walks past me, really giving me a really super judging look, like I just fucked his wife. But I didn't, so Charlie's mom just comes, and she asks, tells me to leave. And she points <laughs> me at the nearest cab station or whatever, and then I go there, and I wait. And I, I, I say, she's like with me for some fucking reason, so I tell her, you really don't have to be here, it's fine. And she offers to pay for my cab, I guess she just really wanted me gone. But no cab ever arrives, so I try to hike over the mountains back to their house, and for some reason I walk into an ISIS training camp and they shoot me and I die, and I get the death (laughs) screen from uh, Dragon Age Origins, and then I woke up. (laughs) Wow, that's a pretty cool dream. Anyone else have dreams where my mom sells them out to terrorists? (laughs) Oh, what a coincidence. (laughs) Daily. Um... The one of my favorite dreams is one I've had recently. I've been having a lot of Harry Potter related dreams, but one of them was really cool. It was me versus Snape in a like a magic contest. I don't know what you call him, a little magic duel. And it was a close match and I ended up beating him and I told him that he needs to go on the skeleton cruise ship, so he reluctantly <laughs> went on the cruise ship. <laughs> <laughs> and then I went back into Hogwarts, and there was this big mystery going around about where Harry's parents were. But I was Harry's parents. I was both of them for some reason, so I like had to hide myself. And the rest of the dream revolved around me <clears throat> avoiding Albus Dumbledore and trying to not reveal the truth to Harry. Because I guess Albus like sniffed a rat. Like He's like, no, Harry, that's your parents right there. It's that, <laughs> it's that dork. <laughs> so that was a cool dream. That is a cool dream. Ugh. I had one where I was an Amish man, and I was the forefront center stage show for at SeaWorld. So, the best way I can describe this is, I was an Amish man, and I lived in, like, an Amish house. Like, it was full wood, and, uh, you know, like, an Amish barn. And I lived with these, like, three women who just were, they were just Amish women. They dressed in dresses, and they were like, thank the Lord, and whatever. And the, there was this, like perpetuating idea in the town and congregation we lived in it was like don't go into your attic they were like we don't know what happened when we built your house 
but there's something wrong with your attic. Don't go in there. Like, whether it be, I, I'm dead fucking serious. And then, like, whether it was spirits from the devil or whatever, don't go in the attic. So me, being a big burly Amish man, and I was not myself. I was like like a 40-year-old, full gray beard Amish man. I don't even know who well, I was. you're afraid of dolls. Uh, <laughs> no. Chucky in the closet. I've, I've had Chucky dolls, but no. that Or Chucky dreams, but no. Um, so I, I looked at the three women. I, don't, I guess I was married to them or something. I, I knew very little of the Amish. And uh, I went, stay here. I'm going to solve this attic problem once and for all. So I remember a lot of the dream was me very vividly climbing these, like, wooden stairs in this big giant barn house hybrid and as i kept climbing up it get more and more barren until eventually i got to the attic and it was nothing but like wooden support beams and like an attic shape you know how it's like you can barely stand up and it's kind of like a hatch roof or like triangle whatever and at the end was a water slide oh, and cool. i was like what the fuck it was like a full running water slide like what you'd see at a theme park and as soon as i stepped up to where the slide started the walls of the attic fell away and it turns out that I was at the top of the slide on a stage at SeaWorld. And I was part of <laughs> SeaWorld's brand new Amish exhibit. And we were, like, the center attraction. And the reason we weren't allowed to go in the attic is that's where, like, they would shuffle the crew members in and out to get us into the stage show. Uh. And apparently in this fictional world, the Amish were, like, animals. And so what so I our, did... So world. Yeah. And... <laughs> <laughs> and so what I did in protest is I changed it into my like long underwear and I sat down on the slide and everyone was like, Oh my God, he's on the slide. Oh, I can't do that. He's Amish. And um, <laughs> I went down the slide. I went down, technology. I went down the slide and landed in the pool and it was like one of those like whale sized pools. So it was super, super big. And I like climbed out and the whole audience was cheering and I, I just remember thinking, like, this is the greatest step the Amish have taken in decades. <laughs> <laughs> and I woke up. One and I was... small step for whales, one giant leap for Amish. <laughs> <laughs> and I woke up, and I was kind of upset it wasn't real, because I thought I did something. <laughs> you brought but the Amish I, forward. It, it seems then... like the the most, like, try hard, just making a dream up thing ever. Like, oh, the Sea World and Amish, ah, it's fun. But it, that's exactly as I remember it. Did Ed I mean, Harris always ever come by and conjure a storm? Uh, one at a time, what? <laughs> you go, Kyle. Hmm? I want to just ask if Ed Harris came by to conjure a storm for you. I I don't know. I, it, I don't know if it felt like a movie or like an actual thing that was happening. But it it was so fucking weird. It, it was such a seamless transition to SeaWorld, too. I remember I remember distinctly thinking, how the fuck did my whole house and village fit underneath this stage? Ja Jackson, what did you say? Uh, I don't know. I can't remember now. That was ages ago. And so well, he's just going to nominate his whole yeah, life. Yeah, what's your, what's your dream, then? Uh, talking about, like, movie dreams, I had a dream a while back. I don't dream often, so this one was special. I had a dream that <laughs> I... <laughs> <laughs> what are you, this fucking real dog? Doozy. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since the clown clock incident of 03. Just lobotomized. <laughs> <laughs> Hypnotic almost. Just staring into its evil eyes. No, I had a dream that uh, I was... <laughs> I, <laughs> I had a dream that I was, I was a You had a dream, okay. It's, it's, it's nice. <laughs> I, I had a dream that I was a Transformer in Transformers... Dark of the Moon. Is it Dark of the Moon? Dark Side of the Moon, I think? Yeah, that yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah, I had a dream that I was a Transformer, so I would... I was basically, like, reliving the plot of that movie, but as my own character, where wow. I would just transform into, like, a pickup truck, and... <laughs> like, I, I, was still hu worst. I was still a human, but I'd, trans I'd, like, transform into a pickup truck. I don't, I don't know how... Still it human? You're just the like meat pile with wheels? Oh, that sounds Pretty awful, much. Jackson. That sounds it horrible. Was... <laughs> <laughs> it was a nightmare I had to them all. Relive every every single transformation. I could think of few things more horrifying than a human if you transformer. Saw the, fuck no, the human transformer. Think, if you just saw nothing but the actual metal. movie, that alone is bad enough. Yeah. Ah, yeah. uh, it's a joke on the film. Have you? Have any of you ever lucid dreamed? Oh, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've only done it that once. That dream was lucid. <laughs> I have. It's just really <laughs> stupid. Jackson was trying to hone in his actual ability to transform into his dreams. 
<laughs> the one time I lucid dreamed, I immediately told Kai about it. I don't know if he remembers, but the only lucid dream I th- I've ever had that I can remember is one where I realized I was in a dream and I was in a trailer. So naturally, you know, you lucid dream, you think of a really pretty girl that you're going to have sex with. So I conjured that up. And then I was like, oh, I have a lot of power here. So then I made it a, a dinosaur right outside of the trailer. And then for some reason, like, I lost control of the lucidity, and I decided to have sex with the dinosaur in the dream. And then I woke up. <laughs> show, show you didn't choose Excellent. that. <laughs> no, no, no. I, it was I think that's lucid, the maybe. better outcome. I, I, <laughs> mine went also just on a fuck-up like that. I feel like ours weren't really lucid dreams since we didn't decide to fuck the chicks. But when I was lucid dreaming, I was in like a long corridor and I walked into a room and my first thought was, okay, I want every kind of cereal on the planet. <laughs> and then I just opened all the drawers and they were full of cereal. But then I decided not to eat them. Instead, I went into another room and I opened to one of the them? cabinets there. No. And I-, I pulled out a comic book that was covered in grass. And my first thought was, okay, <laughs> let's test the graphic rendering capabilities of my brain and I just zoomed in on the grass to see how well my dream could render grass. That's fucking I think that's fucking cool. Oh uh, yeah, I mean, you know, wasted my totally chance. better than fucking uh, the hottest girl in the world. Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> that grass honest, was detailed. I, I'd much rather decide to see how much my brain can render in grass than fuck some hot chick, let me tell you. Imagine if it was just a disappointing render, like it it only got like two forty P. <laughs> VU graphics. <laughs> Sega Genesis type shit. Oh, this is who I am, I guess. <laughs> Go back into the other room and sadly eat your cereal. <laughs> no, I guess I have this. Low resolution cereal. Yeah, it's just all crunchy and... I have to walk up to the box so it even pops in. <laughs> Shitty draw distance too. <laughs> And then your brain crashes, and you're trying to reach over to grab the fork, but you can't move. Input lag. <laughs> he goes to eat the bowl of cereal, which is in front of him, and then as soon as he puts the spoon down, it's back in the fridge. And then my teammates call me a queer. <laughs> Wanna ban me? <laughs> they fucked my mom. They're calling me names. And then he wakes up, and he's in ISIS. <laughs> in ISIS, huh? Uh. <laughs> That's a good one. That could never happen. <laughs> That could never actually occur. <laughs> My problem yeah, with a- uh, lucid dreaming is I always get <clears throat> really close and then I can't, like, pull out what I want. So this has been, like, six or seven times where my brain goes, I don't, it doesn't matter what's happening, I'll just go, damn, I am dreaming now. I'm gonna fly. Because, like, my brain's go-to is to prove that I'm dreaming and all-powerful, I'm gonna fly. And what always happens is I, like, run, I jump, I put my arms out, and I start gliding. And I, I never, oh, I never I fly. Lucky. I'm always getting lower and lower <laughs> to the ground. Sounds like a Disney movie. <laughs> you have to flap your arms. I know I fly yeah. a lot in my dreams. You just f- have to flap your arms. Pro tip. <laughs> I'm not even shitting you. It. This isn't even part of my okay. lucid dreams. No, though. I'll try it. Because what always happens is I always get low to the ground, and then I have to like push off the ground to get height, but I keep sinking again. And it's like every dream, <laughs> you, I can never fly. I can only never glide. Tried flapping. You've never Let tried fl- flapping your arms. My my but thing once. was, if I'm all powerful, what the fuck do I have to flap my arms for? Well, apparently you have to throw them to your side. Can you imagine if in media, like Magneto from the X Men, when he's flying around, he's like flapping his arms super hard? <laughs> X Men. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually one of my pet peeves in the like third X Men movie. The, the the original trilogy. Remember that part where Magneto rips out the entire fucking Golden Gate Bridge just to make a bridge for his goons so he can make them walk to an island? I always wondered, why not just shove metal pieces up their assholes and just carry them over? Why <laughs> rip out the entire bridge? Specifically up their assholes, not, you know, for them to sit on. Yeah, wh- whatever, you get the point. Magneto, I mean, Magneto does it have to go in my anus? This is I mean, the only the point way. Is you- you could put them all on a school bus and fly them over, but no, he had to rip off the entire bridge just to show off how big his balls were. Yeah, I think it was more of a statement. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. Isn't that what they did in Turkey to combat ISIS? They ripped <laughs> up their biggest bridge and went, you can't cross this. Yeah. yeah. Jailing our there. own journalists. Yeah. <laughs> just a big old power show. It's time for the last question. Dun, dun, dun. All right. Let's see here final question is do you have any questions yeah jackson well, do you have any questions actually that's it's my question I've, 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 i, I want to hear some viewer questions 
we're, no, we're, we're my... doing we're, we're recording two episodes now aren't we yeah. so i'll just save these yeah. questions yeah. for next Let, episode yeah do okay. you want to do like a wrap up and then we can edit so that we start the yeah. next one yeah yeah we're, we're oh 50, my god jackson about, you didn't promote the website we're about once. an hour we're about an hour into this episode all right so that's I'm at an the hour end. and one minute all right whatever <laughs> that wasn't a, that wasn't a question charlie wrap Sorry. it up all right. Damn it. Yeah, Alright, so your, this is the end spiel. of the third episode of the official podcast. If you'd like to find more links and all that, check the description or www.theofficialpodcast.com. We've got a SoundCloud, we've got an iTunes, we're hosted on the most famous YouTuber's channel. Oh, God. <laughs> Markiplier? <laughs> yeah. We've, we've signed a contract. We no longer need Charlie. Yeah. All right. Charlie, Charlie <laughs> um, you're being replaced next episode with Markiplier. I'm sorry. Oh, God, no. All right, so this has been Jackson. We've got Kaya, we've got Charlie, and we've got Andrew. We'll see you next time. Bye. See ya. Help! <laughs>